Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me here today. You know, it's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. It's the beginning of June. You know, the weather's warming up. And, you know, I'm excited today to share with you some tips and ideas on how you can build a backyard fountain for your garden and your patio. So thanks for joining me today. So come along with me and I'm going to show you where I'm going to be building this fountain inside my garden area, inside one of my raised beds. So we're going to head up this direction towards my garden structure. And you can see it off in the distance. It's right to the right of that is where I'm going to be building this fountain. So it's right up here ahead on the right is where I'm going to be building and installing this fountain. I have everything all laid out here. From the tools I'm going to be using, the tub I'm going to be using for the fountain, some of the stone I'm going to be using to put along the edge of the fountain, and some logs as a backdrop. And then I also have the fountain pump there and a timer. So building a fountain out here in my garden is something I always wanted to do. You know, behind our house on the edge of our patio, we had a small fountain there that I recently took out because I have my fountain at my pond that you saw. And the fountain that we had was right under a hibiscus bush and so the leaves would fall in the water and everything and so my wife and I we decided to relocate that fountain out here on the end of one of my four foot by 32 foot raised garden beds and it's going to kind of be like a focal point because to my right side is the end of my outdoor garden structure and I just recently planted a, a beautiful Thai giant elephant ear and those leaves get like five feet long and the, the plants get nine feet wide and nine feet high so the addition of this fountain alongside the, the elephant ear will be really nice. Uh, you know, you can put some goldfish in there if you want. Uh, and, you know, they'll also attract the birds to your garden. And plus it'll be nice to be out working in the garden listening to the fountain running. And these fountain pumps, you know, they're small, they're energy efficient. They might cost a couple dollars a, a month to operate uh, as far as electricity usage. But what I'm going to be using for this tub here is a, is a, it's called Tough Stuff Products. And it's a really durable tub. You can end up, I ended up getting this from Tractor Supply near me. You can also order them on, uh, online through Amazon. But let's just read about these, uh, Tough Stuff Tubs. Uh, so a tractor supply, they're $32.99. The price will vary, of course, in Amazon around $37. But the Tough Stuff product, now that's a 25-gallon round tub. It's heavy-duty, smooth edges, impact resistance with industrial endurance. 100% recycled LDPE flexible plastic, which gives a rubber-like quality. It's great for aquaponics, hydroponics, for feed or water for horses and cattle as a planter, an industrial container or small secondary containment or a small pond. Uh, and it's good, as you could use it as a cooler with ice in it and so for outdoor events. And it says go green, buy, recycled. And so this was actually the same tub I had buried 
in the ground over there at our other fountain area. And this has been underground for three years. And you know, even the label itself is still in good shape. And so, you know, the dimensions of this tub is uh, on the outside it's 29 inches and in the inside it's 26 and a half and it's also 13 inches deep and so you want a nice deep tub you want one also large enough in diameter where the fountain head or spray won't be uh, going beyond the edges of the tub you want it to be able to obviously be contained inside the tub then also I'll also be adding a few bricks on the inside of this to raise the level up of the pump and then what I'm using as a as a pump here it's a container fountain kit you can get and so uh, they have it's a 70 gallons per hour pump it has a filter box and three nozzle options and the nozzle options means you can have different type of sprays coming out the end of the end of the fountain. Actually, the one on the it's showing there on the picture is the one I'll be using uh, on the fountain here. And then, uh, you know, you could also take that tub and just put it on your patio or your back deck with the fountain too. You don't need to submerse it in the ground. And so, you know, that would be an easy hookup for you to do. And you know, you can build this fountain for under $65. That's the beauty of this. And then I'm going to be plugging that fountain into a timer. This is a 24-hour me mechanical timer. I like using the mechanical versus the digital. I find they're easier to to uh, set up and all and you don't have to worry about uh, losing power and then resetting your if it was digital. And so I'll be plugging the pump into this so it'll go, you know, obviously it won't be running at night time. So let's take a look at some of the tools you're going to need if you're going to be submersing this tub into into the ground in order to install the tub in your pump. So it's right in that area is where I'm going to be installing that tub right at the end of my bed. And you can see to the left is my garden structure where I planted that Thai giant elephant ear bulb. And so let's take a look at some of the tools that I'm going to be using. I did bring out a hammer, and then I have a small hand rake, and then a one foot torpedo level, and then I also have a 30 inch level, and then a hand trowel, and then a measuring tape. But you're going to want to center that tub. I'm going to want to center that tub at the end of my raised bed there. Then I also have some stone, and once I dig my hole, you want to make sure your tub is in, in, on good firm foundation and you know on good uh, clay area. You don't want to be installing that tub on ground ground that's soft or any kind of compost you see because you don't want it to settle you know in the years to come. And so I have a bucket, five gallon bucket of stone and then I have that different pieces of shale and stone that I'm going to be putting around the perimeter of the edge of the tub. And then I got a short 2x4 that I'm going to use to lay across the tub to put on top of my level. And then uh, I have a shovel and a rake. And I also have some short pieces of logs that, you know, my wife and I, we get them when we go canoeing up at Green Lane. And then I also got some wave petunias that I'm going to be planting around the tub area. You know, I've always loved being around water, even as a little boy. I we used to go up Lake Wall and Paw Pack and different lakes, go camping up there and fishing out on the water. But I've always loved being around running water or fountains, you know. I'm sure most of us are that way. You know, they're very peaceful, very restful, very therapeutic, you know. And so, you know, having one of these fountains on your back patio or your, or your deck, you know, uh, or out in your garden, you know, just really kind of enhances your whole experience, you know. And again, they're, and they're not that expensive. So anyhow, let's get started installing this tub, and I'm going to be probably holding it back around 12 inches from the edge. And so I'm going to grab my tape and start measuring. So anyhow, I put my, the tub inside the, the frame here, and I'm going to have about 10 inches on each side. And then 16 inches, it's going to be about back from the front edge. Because by the time I put a border of 
flat stone around the edge. I still want some soil in the front of this raised bed here because I want to plant some of my wave petunias here or any other flowers in the future. So pretty much now that I have this marked, I'm going to start digging this out and then uh, put some stone in the bottom there. So I grab my little handy cart and I'm going to just start digging out some of the soil here. Bailey's always curious about what's going on out here in the garden. He's my little helper. So I'm going to dig this down about 14 inches and then add some stone. So as you're digging down, you know, or even once you decide on where you want this tub, you know, you can put an outline on the soil and start digging deep, deeper. But uh, you can take your tub and start to see how it's going to fit in. I still need to go about two inches deep, deeper, because I want this tub to be level with the existing soil that's in this raised garden bed. So I'm just taking more soil out of here and I'm going to add it, put it right in my little cart here. Because I do want to add about two inches of stone once I get down to the right depth here. So I had to shave around the edges a little bit more. It may take you a couple tries to get before you get it to the right depth. But that looks pretty good now. So I'm going to add the bucket of stone here in the bottom. So I'm going to take my little hand rake first and, and just level the dirt off the best I can. And then I also have a, a stone tamper here. So I want to just make sure I tamp down the existing soil that's there. And then I'm also going to use this to tamp down the stone that I put in there. Because you want this to be on a good solid surface. So that's pretty solid. And I'm going to take my five bucket of five gallon bucket of stone and just pour that in there. And take my hand rake and just level it off some. I then get my tamper and tamp it down in real good. I'm also then going to get my level to make sure this stone is nice and level. And that may take a few minutes to get that stone level. So I'm going to just take my torpedo level and lay that on the bottom here and see how level we are. Because you also want your water to be pretty level inside your tub. So you just may have to shave the stone off a little bit on one side or the other to make it level. And a project like this too might take a couple hours total to do it. If you have a friend or something to help you too, that's always nice. But anyhow, I'd say that's pretty level. I'm going to tamp it down one more time. And then I'm going to put the tub in here. So take your tub and put it back in the hole there. And I have this short 2x4 or any straight piece of wood. And now you, then you can put your level right on top of that too. And that's going to give you more, more of an accurate reading on your tub. So I'm level that way. I have to turn it around and see how I am the other way. See, so it still needs a little fine tuning 
on that one edge over there. So I'm going to add probably about a, an inch of stone on that one side because you really want to try to get it as level as you can right in the beginning. So once your tub is leveled, at least for me, I want to make sure I'm centered between uh, both sides. So I have like nine inches on one side and I have about nine and a half on that side. So, so there you go, nine and a half, nine and a half, and then whatever this side is, it's, you know, I'm fairly flexible. I end up having 19 inches. And so now that that tub is nice and level and, uh, you know, it's uh, centered in my opening here. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of weight inside it because I'm actually going to start backfilling this. But you know, actually, what might, might even be better is I'm going to start adding, I'm going to fill this with water first and then backfill it because you don't want to backfill it empty because you don't want the tub to lift out. So I'm going to fill this with water and then backfill this. take a few minutes to fill this up and then I'm going to backfill it and then level the soil off around the edge of this and then start laying the stones in along the edge. So this is almost full so I'm going to turn it off right now and uh, first I'm going to get a drink of water. That sun is shining on here on me, so I always get thirsty. Plus, when I have running water around me, for some reason, it always seems to make me thirsty. But anyhow, now that this has a lot of weight in the tub, now's a good time to start back filling this. And then, like I said, and then I'm also going to try to tamp that dirt down a little bit as I backfill it. And then I'm going to add the stone on the edge, which will, you know, hide the edge of this tub. I'm just going to take my little hand rake and rake back some of this dirt in along the edge of the tub and you know having stone under your tub too you know like two three inches of stone will will give it some good drainage underneath and so just backfill around the edge of the tub that of course is the easy part And so I'm going to take my tamper here and tamp some of this dirt down along the edge. You want all this to be as settled as possible, as much as possible, around this edge. So I'm going to tamp it down as I put it in there because I'm still going to have to add about two to three inches of dirt around the edge of this tub. So I was taking some of that dirt that I dug out from the hole initially and just going to build it up around the edge of the tub. And so once that's nice and level and pat it down with the edge of the tub here. I'm going to tamp it down one more time and then start laying some of these stones in along the edge of this uh, gal uh, 25 gallon tub. So I had to add a couple inches of my composted leaf mulch amended with topsoil to bring it up to the top level of this tub. And then, you know, you can also walk around the edge, make sure it's firmly seated and settle around the edge. And so I'm just going to move away some of my tools here. And I have these flat stones here that we've used around 
our tub before, but my wife and I have collected these. And also on our 10 acres here in Pennsylvania, down at our creek, we have these type of rock. And so they're kind of like a flat stone. Uh, something to be perfect for putting around the top perimeter of your of your uh, fountain area. So I'm simply going to just start laying, layering these or laying these around the perimeter. Now also I have here an extension cord here that I ran over to my fountain, fountain area. Obviously you're going to need electric at your fountain and any any type of electrical cord or plug that you put here you want to make sure it's GFI protected that's ground fault interrupter that way it prevents electrical shock and so you definitely want to make sure your electric or any outdoor outlet that you uh, use outside is GFI protected so I'm going to just start laying these stones in along the edge and try and Weave them nice and close together to make them look as natural as possible. But this is actually the fun part. I enjoy doing the, the, the rocks and the boulders. And so just take them and so far they're laying out pretty nice. And you can also let them overhang the, the uh, inside of the tub, maybe an inch. And so, just keep on trying to turn them around to get them to fit in. I'm going to need to go get a few more of my rocks, so I'll be right back. So now that I have all my flat rock laid out really nice around the edge of the tub. You know, again, I'm using my rubber mats to kneel on, something I would always encourage you to, to use because you want to protect those knees. You only have one set of knees, you know. And uh, so anyhow, I also have these logs here that I'm going to use and set them up a couple feet away. That'll kind of act as a a backdrop for this fountain area. So I have them right here. And I also have those wave petunias that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to get these logs and set them in there in a kind of semicircular pattern. If you've seen some of my videos, you've noticed I like using these logs. They kind of add a nice uh, old age to the garden. And they're nice and uh, they just, I like the textures. And you know, my wife and I, we collect these when we go canoeing up at Green Lane. A lot of times in the coves, you know, there'll, there'll be these logs that are just floating there. And so that's kind of fun. We go like on a treasure hunt. So I have one more small log I'm going to use here. And that's this little guy right here. And so now that I have those logs placed, I'm going to stand back here a second and take a look and see if I, I like the way they're arranged. So as you can see, this is coming together really nice. So I'm going to add a little bit more water to this. Maybe bring it up to about a, an inch below the top of the tub. But this will be nice. I'm looking forward to having this fountain running while I'm out here in the garden. Again, it'll sound really pretty and, you know, I'll really look forward to the birds coming here. Using this like a bird bath. This, this, that part is probably what excites me the most about having this fountain here as this, the centerpiece of my garden here. That's basically what this is going to be, is the centerpiece. And that's one reason why I put it out here on the edge of my raised planter bed is that you can see this pretty much from anywhere you are in the garden. So that pretty much does it for how much water I'm going to add to this. And then I'm going to get my pump out and start putting that in the tub here. So next here is this container 
fountain kit that we're going to put in. And I just cut the top off and, uh, you know, there's the inside. Comes with a little, there's the pump section right there. And then here's your different nozzles that you can put together. And so I'm pretty much going to, I think, be using a nozzle like this. But they come with, you know, different extensions on it. And this top of this pump also comes off. So you can see there's a, a filter inside this that you may want to clean out every so often. And so, so anyhow, I'm going to get started installing this pump. So installing the pump really is the easy part of this project. I do have a terracotta pot or a, a paver block that I may use to, um, you know, you need to put that under the pump some. Since this tub is 14 inches deep, you're going to want to lift this up off the bottom of the tub. So you'll need to, you know, gauge that with uh, using the pump and then, the, you know, maybe build up a layer of brick. So out of the package here, I took out the one extension and that's going to end up, you're going to want to just Put, push that down in, on the inside of the pump there, something very easy to do. And then this next piece has, again, three different nozzle tips. And so you can just stick that on top of the extension piece like so. And then uh, put your tips on, depending on which one you want to use. I'm going to be using the fountain one. So just to get a closer look here, this is the one extension piece they give you. It actually adjusts up or down for depending on how deep your water is. And so that just simply, you push that into the end of your pump. And then this is the, the next piece. Slips over this. It's actually a snug fit. And be careful it doesn't fall out of your pump. And then this is the nozzle that I'm going to be using at the end uh, of this here. This will just slip down inside here. And so uh, I'm going to put this in the water here. So what I did is I took my terracotta pot. This is about six inches in diameter. And I laid it there on the bottom of the tub just as a test. And then I went and plugged my extension cord in just to see how this is going to work. And you can also adjust the nozzle on the uh, end of the pump, you know, depending on what type of pattern you want. And so uh, what I need to do next is conceal this cord here that it comes with. I'll, I'll weave it in between my the uh, rocks here along the top. And so now that I have my cord buried, I'm just going to take my hose and before I plant my wave petunias, I'm going to just hose down some of these boulders, get the dirt off them. And then I'm going to spread out my bag of mulch here and then plant these wave petunias. So I'm just going to wash everything off real good. There, and then I'm going to put down the, uh, the bag of mulch. So now that I have the mulch 
all finished, spread it out around the, the boulders and around the edges of this raised garden bed, I'm going to be starting to plant these wave petunias. And so, I think there's four of them here, and what I'm going to be doing is planting two in the back here, and then two in the front, and that way, and then I'll maybe even train them to, you know, spread around the fountain area here. So I'm going to take this market pack of four, and then just try to break them apart in four equal sections, and then plant about, like I said, two in the front, and or two in the back there, and then one in each of these corners here. So it's really going to just fill this whole area with these beautiful colors. The back two planted, and I have these two more to do here. I'm going to be planting these again in my composted leaf mulch, and then one more in the front. <coughs> again, this is kind of like icing in the cake, as they say. Icing on, icing on the cake. <clears throat> so just firming up real nice around the, the soil, around the plant. And I'm just going around moving some of the mulch off the, the boulders there. Tidying it up a little bit. And then I'm going to water these plants in. So I'm just going to take my trusty old watering can and Water these in real nice. And you want to make sure, you know, you keep these well watered because they're, you know, they're just basically babies. So you may have to water these every day depending on the temperature or how much rain you get. I actually added a little bit of fertilizer in, in uh, the water here to give them a, a little bit of nutrients. So there you go, you know, pretty much uh, everything's finished. It really was a fun little project. And uh, you know, something I would really encourage you to think about putting in your garden. Like I said, it was like $60, $65 for this, for the tub and the fountain. And the fountain was like, I think around $25. And uh, you know, you'll want to hook that up to a, a timer, you know, so you can have, just have it run during the day obviously, and then have it off at night time. And uh, so let's, I'm going to grab the camera and let's take a, a look at this from a different angle. So when I began this video, I walked up and there was no fountain there. And so now that we're finished, you know, it was about an hour and a half project for me. Uh, we now have a, a beautiful fountain here at the garden. And so you can see it, it'll just going to add a nice water feature to my garden area and of course you know you can hear that water running which is very therapeutic and uh, you know peaceful and restful and it's also going to you know attract the birds to your garden which also you know eats the insects So anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining Bailey and I today out here in the vegetable garden. This was a fun project. And uh, you know, if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And you know, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, so you can receive future videos. And you can also visit our website at plantsmartliving.com. And so I hope you have a wonderful day. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.